The thing that I want Rob to learn from Tom Brady is to say hi, Mom. It's been nine years after every interview at the end of the game, Tom Brady says, hi, Mom, hi, Mom. And every once in a while I see Rob up there in the interview, and I'm like, okay, he's going to say hi, Mom. And then they're like, okay, thanks, Rob. And he's like, okay, thanks. Hi, thank you. And he walks away. And I'm like, where's the hi, Mom, right? Like, Tom, come on, you need to teach that to Rob. So um, I would like to show Rob how it's done. I can't wait for that moment to happen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say hi, Mom, to my mom. I am excited to talk to my next mom of five. Let me give you a little stat. The odds are one in 31 million that if you have three boys, they'll all make it to the NFL. Well, this mom had four boys to make it to the NFL and one to play professional baseball. You probably know the last name, Gronkowski. Let's get to it. So let's start with the early days. Take me back. First of all, tell me the names of your sons and their ages so that people can see, you know, how far apart they so, are. So, okay, so Gordy's the oldest and he is 36. Okay. Dan is 34. Chris is 32. Rob is 29. And Glenn is 25. So the oldest one was five when Rob was born and he's the fourth one. What was that yeah. like? It was a lot of work and it was no sleep because you're so exhausted. You don't, it's just a blur. Sometimes you forget if you even, did I take a shower this morning? Like you really had to think about it because everything was so fast. Was it organization? Was it just, you just gotta do it because you have to keep moving forward? Well, well you can't send them back. <laughs> so I had meals, like probably eight or 10 meals in the freezer. I did usually take them to the grocery store, but I would have two carts. So you're at the grocery so, store with two carts. Right. Right, and people say, are you shopping for a group home? Well, kind of. <laughs> yeah. And that was always the big question. How do you feed them? How yeah, do you how feed you? them? You know what? They ate everything, anything, and at any time. It was constant. Well, I had two, re two freezers and two refrigerators. Because I shopped, I bought half a cow. I would buy 40 pounds of chicken breast at a You're time. Oh, no. Half a cow? Oh, yeah. You could probably buy the whole car, but... <laughs> you know. Any nicknames? They all have nicknames. Gordy is Gerardo. Dan is Dan Dan the Monkey Man. Chris was Cristobal. Rob is Roberto. And Glenn is Goose. What do you do when everybody is pulling for attention and everybody wants to feel special? I say that to you especially because all, the, all your boys think they're your favorite. <laughs> yes, my football right here behind us, right? <laughs> oh, from your favorite son, exactly. Yeah. How did you do that? How do you make each child feel like they're the favorite? What's the I same? mean, everybody needs attention. So, you know, I went to as many games as I could possibly go for any of them. If they knew that if I wasn't at their game, it was because I was at one of the other games. Would you say you were a tough cookie? Not at all. Really? Not at all. Yes. I didn't make them uh, clean up their rooms. They really didn't have chores. Um, I would go through and thought, well, your bedroom's a mess, but if that's how they want to live, that's fine. You know, you just shut the door. So then what made no. them sit down and do their work? Was it just self? Uh, you know, they just did. This is what you did. You came home, you did your homework. If you have a hockey tournament Saturday and Sunday in Toronto, then that means Friday night you need to do your homework. Well, and they, they like just that? did. Oh, right. It's kids even. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did hockey, we did football, we did basketball, we did baseball, golf, swimming, snow skiing, water skiing. Yeah, we. it was just year-round. Were your boys competitive? Were they supportive of each other? A little bit of both? What would you they say? totally thrived off of each other, 100%. That's what kept them going. In what way? If one could do something, the next one could do it better. There's a lot of the flags in here, almost all the teams that they've been on. We've got, you know, Rob and Chris's fat head. That's their college pictures. And we have, like, some of their jerseys here. So Chris, uh, Chris's first year, he played with the Cowboys, and he played on three team, three, four teams over four years. Wow. Uh, Dan was drafted with the uh, Lions, and this was his first year. Rob is uh, in his ninth year with the Patriots, of course. 
Glenn was with the Bills and then with the Patriots, and he actually got a Super Bowl ring with Rob two years ago. Oh, wow. That's... So they've played against each other, and they've played with each other. When they played against each other, how does that work as a mom? I know. I took my jersey and sewed the two together. <laughs> so the front was um, Chris, and the back was Rob. Because you're like, yay, yay, <laughs> yeah. And you don't like, well, I don't care who wins. I win either way, right? Wow, I love how that says rookie. It's like, huh, not anymore. There's so many moments like that I would think would be the, like a pinnacle, but then it just keeps getting. Yep. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring, right? Your son is going to the Super Bowl for the fifth time. Right. That's well, it, oh yeah, it's great. It's exciting. Even and they always say, oh, it's a dream come true, but it is a dream come true. Even though it's the fifth time? Yeah. Is it just as sweet? Oh, I think that it is. I think that it is. I think it is for all the players. They give up a lot to get where they are. When you're watching, do you feel nervous? Do you feel excited? Do you feel all of it? What do you feel? You feel everything. You Sometimes you're very nervous. I, I mean, the first time I remember one of them going down, it was actually Dan, and I was watching. He had an away game, and I was watching on TV. He was with the Broncos. All of a sudden, you see it's your son, and that was the first time that I realized there's nothing you can do. You see your son hurt on TV, there's nothing you can do. Have you had a moment to let it sink in? I remember the very first time it was at Gillette Stadium and Rob was just starting out there with the Patriots and this girl down in front of me had a jersey on that said Gronkowski on the back of it. And I thought, why is she wearing my son's jersey? Well, now you look and there, there are just millions of them everywhere you go. And, and then it hits me that, wow. So then I already yeah. know what you're gonna say when people say, oh, is this gonna be Rob's last season? Or is this gonna be it? What's your thought? What's your response to that? My response is, you'll probably know before me. <laughs> so are you a fan of the other, like Tom Brady, for example? Do you know him? Or are you a fan? Or... I, I have seen Tom Brady a few times. I would like to meet Tom Brady's mother one day. You know how you, you say, like, when your kids are little, you want to meet your the, the parents of your kids' friends? Oh. Um, I think the boys play together, and I want to know who my son's playing with. Very last yeah. question before we cook. What's... When you think about it, what brings tears to your eyes? What part about this whole thing? Um, not having him around anymore. That's tough. My whole life was them, 100%. And then they leave and they're out in society and they're each in such demand now that they don't really have the time to come and see mom very often. Well, I hope if, so, Rob, if Rob, after the game, no matter what happens, I hope he looks at the camera and he says, thanks mom. Yeah, maybe. I can't wait to try the chicken souffle. Do you feel pressure? Because I've heard so much about no, it. No, I don't feel pressure. All right, let's do it. So when you hear the guys talk, they're always talking about, one, how they miss your home-cooked meals, how they look forward to the home-cooked meals. And this was one of their favorites. And this is it. This is chicken souffle. My, my mom's recipe. I don't know where she got it, but this has been something that has been around, and they love it, and their friends love it, and their friends want me to mail it to them. So... <laughs> This is something, yes, definitely. Well, I feel like it, we're getting an exclusive. It's great. You are. Mm. You are. Not everyone gets this recipe. Yay. Mm. You can add whatever you want. My guys like celery. You can and you're like, like my mom. No measurements. You just kind of know. There are no measurements. Yeah. I, I do not measure. Okay. Celery and onions. Right. And and chicken and um, some it's miracle whip. So you take four pieces of bread and put it on the bottom of the pan. Yeah, you put that on the top of the bread. And then when would you do something like this? Did you try to do it on Sundays or were you doing it every night when they went to school when they went to school? Oh, I cooked at night. At night? Yeah. I cooked at night. So what, after they went to bed? Yeah. For the next day. All the meals for the next day. So now you take the other four pieces of bread. So four four pieces of bread on the top, four pieces of bread on the bottom. So eight pieces of bread total. Correct. This is milk and, and uh, eggs. Okay. This is why it's called souffle. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and then what happens is you want it to uh, soak in. So you let it soak in for a while. So this is cooked now. So it's been in the oven for a little over an hour. Okay. Okay. We're going to put the mushroom soup on the top. Yeah. I'm going to okay. stick this back in just okay. for um, like two minutes. Okay. To get it. That's all it takes? Well, I just have to melt the cheese. Okay. So here's the chicken souffle. Mmm. And I bet you the boys are looking at this wanting to be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They love it. It's hot. Oh, man. Be careful. 
Yum. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's like best day ever. Hi, Hi, Mom. Mom.